Well, good afternoon and welcome to Highland Sports Media's coverage of the Utilita Highland League Cup Final. Coming to you live this afternoon from Christie Park in Huntley. The teams are making their way onto the pitch. Ali McKenzie are about to have a one minute silence. Free kick off. Uh, that minute silence there, of course, for uh, Bucky Boy, Malcolm Cowie, passed away sadly at his home in New Zealand a week ago today at the age of 73. Rothis, number one, Sean McCarthy, number two, Paul McLeod coming in for Ali Stark, three, Ben Johnston, four, Jack Brown, five, Bruce Milne, six, Fraser Robertson, seven, Craig Cormack, eight, Alan Pollock, nine, Gary Kerr, ten, Ali Sutherland, and eleven, Alan McKenzie. Rothis subs. 12 Ross Gunn, 15 Ewan Neal, 16 Greg Main, 17 Sean Linden, 18 Scott Anderson, 20 Jack Malley and 21 Danny McCarthy. So Bucky lineup number 1 Daniel Bell, 4 Sam Morrison, 6 Joe McCabe, 7 Skipper Kevin Fraser, 9 Stephen Ross, 10 Andy McCaskill, 11 Sam Urquhart, 14 Mark McLaughlin, 15 Sam Pugh, 16 Callum Murray and 18 Jack Murray. Bucky subs, 2 Sean Wood, 5 Lewis McKinnon, 8 Kyle McLeod, 12 Lee Herbert, 13 Craig Cowie, 20 Marcus Goodall and 23 Scott Adams. Big Jack Murray up for this one. And it's false for Rothis, it's well cleared by Gary Kerr there. And Bucky got it back though. Sustained pressure early on by Bucky Thistle. Chance here, half chance. As I say, it's been all Bucky Thistle in this opening period. Ah, it's a break here. Chance this time, and a good interception. Paul McLeod intercepted. But we're commentating and keeping it going as long as we can. Oh, and a Bucky Thistle score! Ball in from McCaskill's corner. And it was Joe McCabe got his foot to it and guided it past McCarthy from eight yards. So the winner, eh, the, the opener coming for Bucky Thistle. No great real surprise after this extended period of Bucky pressure. The corner kick from Andy McCaskill, pinpoint corner. McCabe wasn't picked up. McLaughlin to McCaskill and back to young McLaughlin. Stephen Ross holding it out well for McCaskill. McCaskill can hit him from here. Andy McCaskill fires one in from 25 yards and it comes off the inside of the post. Goes, goes back across goal. Well won by Gary Kerr this time. Craig Cormack does keep it in. Very, very tight though there. Both is playing it very close. Fraser Robertson, but it's Anna McKenzie. McKenzie with the ball. He's will he take him on this time? McKenzie does take him on. Chance for McKenzie. McKenzie scores for Rothis. Anna McKenzie equalises for Rothis. Slides it low past Daniel Bell. On the half hour mark. It's now Rothis one, Bucky Thistle one. Daniel Bell came in, he slid it low past the big keeper to level matters on the half hour mark. Johnson steps in, Ali Sutherland's been very quiet as well this afternoon. Scored Rothes' first goal, and it's a booking for Sutherland. His first real taste of the action results in a yellow card. 42 minutes gone in the clock, and it's Annie McCaskill again, who's the playmaker for Bucky Thistle. Could be a yellow card here. Marlin getting a booking for his trouble anyway. And imagine all these bodies at the back post that McCaskill will be aiming to float it into the back stick oh, and it's well cleared by Rothis it's back to McCaskill again though they haven't cleared their lines yet McCarthy going up still at the back post must be must be no it's cleared off the line by Rothis oh and a, what an escape what an escape for the Space Siders just before half time Kerr should hold that one up he does he holds out well uses his strength feeds Fraser Robertson who in turn looks for McKenzie brings it down, looks like his shoulder, but the referee waves play on. Danger man McKenzie looking for the floated ball in. The ball does come in, but Kevin Fraser clears. Pollock this time to McKenzie, back to Pollock. Handball by McCaskill, 22 yards out. 
free kick to Speysiders. Fraser Robertson this side, Alan Pollock this the other side, so I think it could be Pollock. It's not, it's Robertson. And a great fingertip save by Daniel Bell. Fraser Robertson's free kick brilliantly turned round the post by Daniel Bell in the Bucky Thistle goal. He's a strong little midfielder he is. Now it's well cut out by Paul McLeod though. And he finds Cormac. Cuts inside, but he Cormac does his best and he does foul. Commits a foul there. Booking for Craig Cormac also. Keeper's going to send this one long. I think he's telling them all to get forward. He's got the wind at his back now. And it is, it's a long ball forward by Rothis. Young Ali Sutherland in here. Sutherland, oh, well played back. Rothis claiming a handball there. Rothis claiming a handball by a Bucky defender, but we no VAR here. Cormac said something out of place. He's booked him and he sent him off. Cormac said something out of place to referee McFarland. McFarland showed him a second yellow. Cormac was booked only five minutes ago. Well, well, there we go. Not the end that Cormac was looking for. And Bucky made make punish them even more. Oh, McCarthy did well to pick that up. Of course, referee McFarlane, as you, you don't want to talk back to a referee ever. But uh, if you don't want to talk back to one, I would say it's referee Mac Dan McFarlane. Not standing any nonsense. A long ball played in looking for Gary Kerr. Oh, Kerr got to it first. Roth is looking for a penalty kick. They feel Kerr was taken out of the play. But McFarlane merely points for a, a goal kick to a Bucky Thistle. Midway through the second half, 22 and a half minutes gone. If Rothis have to go into extra time with 10 men, that's when the extra man advantage will probably tell in Bucky's favour, I would imagine. Three in the Bucky wall, it's Pollock. Out to Daniel Bell, Bell did well to block it, but all he could do was push it out, and Fraser Robertson couldn't get to it. Finds Gary Kerr who picks it up at the, ah, that's a free kick as well, that's a booking also. Gary Kerr getting a treatment there after being brought down. Rothis need to make their superior, uh, superior to tell in the, in the next 20 minutes, they don't want to go to, and it's a header and a brilliant save, brilliant save, brilliant header by Gary Kerr and fantastic save by Daniel Bell to turn it over the top. Long ball again. And another header over the top. Sam Morrison there, but it's picked up by McCabe, who'll look for McLeod. Picks him out. Back to McCabe. Johnson can't get a ball, a leg to the ball, but he does second time around. Caught in two minds there. Bucky, Bucky. Climbing, it's a chance here for Fraser. And he sends it over the top. It's a long throw in. He comes back to McKenzie, what's he going to do? Float it to the back stick. Good clearance by Murray for Bucky there. Ball falls, gun! Oh, and it's a clearance. Gun almost brought the winner there for the Space Siders. A great block by a Bucky defender. I don't know who it was. It's possibly Sam Morrison got his body in there. Let's see where this one's going to go from Pollock. I expect him to drift it in. Now it's gone, it's gone wide to McKenzie. Now where's he going to put it? Drifts in the box. Oh, wonderful, wonderful effort by McKenzie and a tremendous save by Daniel Bell. Keeper used his full length to get his hand to that one and punch it away for a corner kick. Added time now, we've played three minutes of added time. Last chance saloon for the Space Riders. And Bell again gets a fist to the ball. Brown plays it back to Pollock. Here we go, once again. It's in the back of the net! It's in the back of the net for Rothis! Rothis of course I think it's Paul McLeod in the 94th minute. I think it's Paul McLeod and he's run the whole length of the pitch to celebrate. Ten man Rothis. What an amazing occasion. Could the Space Riders have won the Highland League Cup for the first time? Golden goal for the Space Riders. 
We played five, we're in the fifth minute, and there's a final whistle! There's the final whistle. Rothis have won against the odds the Highland League Cup. Ten man Rothis! Down to ten men with 20 minutes to go, and in the fifth minute of added time, ex Nern County defender Paul McLeod came up for the corner kick taken by Alan Pollock. He got his head to the ball, and the ball sailed past Daniel Bell, who up until then had been a hero for Bucky Thistle. Bell had brought off several tremendous saves. A real hero for Bucky Thistle, but he couldn't do nothing about Paul McLeod's 95th minute, minute winner. So here, at a chilly and breezy Christie Park in Huntley, Rothes have created history by winning the Highland League Cup for the first time in their 82-year-old history. The final score here at Christie Park, Rothes 2, Bucky Thistle 1. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll start the presentation. The presentation party is Remy Cardinal, who is chairman of the league. And also Charlie Malami, who is representing sponsors Utility Energy. The man of the match uh, is able, will be able to choose a youth team who will receive a full playing kit courtesy of Utility. That man of the match is Rothus number six, Fraser Robertson. Team, 20, 20. 